cavemen used stones, stones became bricks, and bricks became Legos. When you think about it, blocks have really helped shape the world. And now there's a new block on the block. Introducing blockchain. The history of finance can be traced back to the beginning of time, but the history of blockchain began only a few decades ago. Back in 1991, two men began to work on a network that would securely allow two participants to engage in a transaction without a third party getting in the way of their deal. They wanted to create a way for people to do business without having to rely on other businesses. Traditionally, a company would hire someone to oversee their financial database and control what data is put into it, which led to mistrust and human errors. In 1991, they wanted their network to fix this. It never materialized, but it was the building block to blockchain. Then, in 2008, the first blockchain was fully conceptualized by Satoshi Nakamoto, the same person or persons who also created Bitcoin. Nakamoto remains a mystery to most. No one knows if it is actually one person or a group of people under that name. Personally, I love it. He's the Banksy of finance. He created a system of records called blocks that timestamp digital transactions between two individuals online in real time. These blocks became a crucial public receipt of transaction and officially locked in the deal. When each block was filled with the data from the transaction, a new block would form and be connected by a chain. Thus, blockchain. People could see the previous price an item was sold for and know how much to buy it for in the future. But you wouldn't pay with cash. You'd pay with cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency is a digital asset that lets you buy digital goods like NFTs in online marketplaces. Coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum are digital equivalent to the dollar. Think of cryptocurrency as the money you spend at the register. Think of blockchain as the receipt you get after the transaction is confirmed. Blockchain's digital receipt added legitimacy and security for anyone interested in cryptocurrency. And based on the rising popularity of digital currencies, digital art, and investing in NFTs, it sure seems like people are interested. But the most important aspect of blockchain is it's decentralized. Or if you're hip like me, DeFi. DeFi means no central authority oversees the transactions. It is fully peer to peer, which is what the goal of blockchain was in 1991 mission accomplished. But what is the future of DeFi? Well, that's anyone's guess. But if the past is any indication of the future, DeFi will aim to recreate traditional finance systems, but with less middlemen. Being able to use alternative currency like crypto and tokens on blockchain may lead to entirely new approaches to buying, selling, lending, and borrowing between peers. Or maybe it already has. For more information on blockchain and how it works, check this out. We've all had that one cousin who tries to tell us about crypto and blockchain at the holiday party. They usually sound really confused. It can be embarrassing. Well, consider steps the other cousin at the party who enters the conversation and offers to explain. Okay, imagine you owned a digital image of a ninja. Sounds silly, but trust us, there are sillier NFTs. Now imagine someone online wanted to buy your digital ninja because there were only a few of them and their scarcity may be valuable one day. So they offer you a dollar and you agree to the deal. You would go on a secondary market that allows you to sell your digital ninja and then exchange it for $1 worth of crypto. The blockchain produces a block that certifies the transaction and is confirmation that you now have a dollar and they own the ninja. They get a serial number and the deal is officially complete. Now imagine someone wants to buy the ninja from them. They can see that this person bought the NFT from you for $1 and they can try to negotiate a new deal. Hopefully for a little more than a dollar because investing is about profit and it's a cool looking ninja. They agree to a deal that will send $1.50 worth of crypto to one party and in return, the other party will be a brand new owner of the NFT. A new block is formed, a new transaction is certified, and the history of the ninja lives on. A blockchain is a digital ledger of public transactions across a large network of computers. You can see how much digital assets were sold for and traded for in real time. You can also see which are gaining popularity and which are bad bets. It is peer to peer, meaning two individuals make a deal together. There is no main authority to make the rules. But this isn't Lord of the Flies. Blockchain is basically a big book of digital receipts. That's right, blockchain brought receipts. And even better, public receipts. These public receipts eliminate any debate on who owns what, because every transaction is public info. And someone leaves with a serial number certifying their purchase. With blockchain, you can buy and sell NFTs, track music royalties, perform personal identity security, share medical data with doctors and hospitals, and that's just a start. But why is blockchain important? As the future of currency continues to evolve, so must the security measures financial institutions put in place. Every market, regardless of how long it's been around, how radical it may seem, or how decentralized it is, needs clear rules for their transactions. Blockchain is the leading security measure for owning digital assets. And when it comes to financial security, you should always care. 
So whether you trade your dollars for digital assets, cryptocurrency, or just wanna learn more about how blockchain may be shaping the economy, we are here for you and want to invest in your financial future. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Kelly Wakasa, and be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Step, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can start spending your money your way. NFT stands for non-fungible token, not the most self-explanatory name. So to try and better understand what NFTs are, let's first learn what the word fungible means. When something is fungible, it means it can be replaced by other identical assets without losing any of its value. A popular example of a fungible item is the dollar. You can exchange two $5 bills for a $10 bill and no value is lost. They're interchangeable and thus fungible. 